Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and during the past few weeks we've talked a lot about iOS 18 and all these cool new features. But of course we have some more to talk about. We have some really cool hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running iOS 18. So let's go ahead and take a look at some really nice hidden features of the new iOS 18. Now we're starting things off with a lock screen. As you probably know by now, on the lock screen, you can now customize the buttons that you get on your lock screen. The flashlight and the camera, you can switch them to a lot of different other options. But what you can also do if you want to just get a really nice, clean looking lock screen on your device, you can just go ahead and remove them completely. You don't have to actually have any buttons there. You remove them completely and now you have a much cleaner looking lock screen. Moving on to the weather app settings. Now with weather on iOS 18, you will be able to get the weather forecast on the weather app for your home and work locations. Now usually you will get with iOS 17, you will get the weather for your city, but with iOS 18, if you go to settings, go under weather and enable this switch right here, then you will also get the weather for your work and for your home. So you will get the city weather, your home, and also your work, so that's pretty useful. Whenever you're adding a note on your iOS 18 device, you can now have different attachments. Well, most of them have been here before, but now if you tap on the attach button, you will be able to also attach an audio recording directly from here. So if I tap on audio recording, I can just go ahead and now record here an audio file and just tap done there and I will add it to the note. Now what it does, it adds the recording, but it also will transcribe the recording right there, which is very useful. Now also when on a note on iOS 18, you will be able to tap those three dots right there, and then you will have here recent notes. If you wanna go from your note you're in to one of your recent notes, you can now actually do it directly from here. You tap that button, it shows you all the recent notes that you have, and you can quickly jump to any recent note that you have taken on your iPhone. And here we have another one for the notes app. If you just select a text like this, you can now go ahead and tap on the format button and you will be able to actually colorize that text. So you will have a few different colors here you can pick from. So you can just go ahead, select any text you want and have different colors for different words that maybe you wanna highlight on or make stand out on the note that you have taken with your iOS 18 device. Now just notice that if you do something like this, these notes won't actually show on your Mac if you haven't updated the Mac to the latest beta as well. With iOS 18, one of the coolest and probably one of the most useful features is the ability to send messages later. So you tap the plus button, tap the send later button, you can go ahead and just add like any text you want here pick a date right here in the time, and then you can just go ahead and tap the send button. Everything will be done automatically here, don't need to, de to do anything more. Now, what you can also do here, you can see it will actually highlight that message that will be sent later. You will have the option to have that edit, edit button right there, even though it's very small. And from here, you can basically cancel that message just by tapping delete here, or if you have added the time by mistake or you just want to change the time, you can tap here, edit time, and now you will have this picker from where you can go ahead and edit the time where you want, when you want to send that message. Now in a previous video, I'll show you guys a pretty cool feature on iOS 18, which will let you turn any icon into a widget or any widget into an icon. But also if you have a widget added to your device's home screen, you can actually 3D touch on that widget. You can change the size of the widget. That's really, really useful. So anytime you wanna do that, you don't need to remove this widget and add a bigger one or a smaller one if you want to. You can just 3D touch on it and you will have the options here to actually edit and change the size of the widget directly from here. Now here's another very cool feature to have. Now previously we used to use a trick where you could just go to the photo mode on the camera of your iPhone, tap and hold the record button to actually start recording a video. That wouldn't stop the audio playback in the background if you just wanted to take a video 
with anything that you have been playing in the background on your iPhone. Now you can actually do that here on iOS 18. What you need to do here is just go ahead and go to record sound and then tap here on allow audio playback. Enabling that will allow you to record any video you want, but at the same time also have music or anything else playing in the background. Now, when you're on your photos app on iOS 18, and your 3D touch on a photo, what you can do here is quickly add it to an album. So you will have this option right here, which of course was here before. But what I have noticed with iOS 18 is that if I just add a few photos to an album, then it will actually remember that. Now, the last few photos I have added to Wallpaper Central, now it gives me that suggestion right here. So I can go ahead and quickly add that to that album as easy as that without even needing to go to add the album first and then go ahead and just browse there for the album where i want to add it now of course with the photos app you can now customize the photos app and you can enable or disable any of the collections that you have on the photos app but what's really cool is that if you tap and hold this button right there you can actually rearrange anything you want here so if i just want to place the albums right there i can do that i just want to place the people right down there i can do that then all the media types featured photos anything you can rearrange them any way you like now of course you can even enable or disable any of the albums and whenever you want to reset them to their default you can just tap that button right there and as you probably know the game mode is now here on ios 18 and you can see just that on iOS 18, whenever you open a game, most of the games will show you that game mode right there. It basically shows you that the game mode is on, but all you have to do is, if you want to turn it off, is just tap on that pop-up and it turns off automatically. On the calendar app on iOS 18, you can actually pinch to zoom in and out. So you also have the reminders now, which is integrated into the calendar app. So there I have a reminder, it shows it right there. I can pinch out like this to view more details. I can pinch in like this to see a more compact view. So you see right there, we have the events and the reminders and everything else. If I just wanna take a look at them, I can just go ahead and zoom in like this and it shows me everything I need to know. Also the calculator app, probably one of the most updated apps on iOS 18. Now you can just tap that button right there and he will have the history of everything that you have calculated. Now what you can do from here, of course you can edit this, you can delete here anything you want, but what you can also do is tap and hold. Now here you can copy the result or you can copy the expression. Anything you want can be copied from here or you can just delete that item from the history of your calculator. And one really cool feature of iOS 18, which I cannot show you right here, but you will see it in this picture, is that now when your iPhone is completely drained out of battery, it will still show you the time. Now this I believe works on with the newer iPhone 15 models. It won't work on older devices, but if you have an iPhone 15, you will be able to still view the clock even though your iPhone might be completely turned off. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some pretty cool hidden features that you will be able to find on your device on iOS 18. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.